morning and welcome. I am continuing my reading of the, from the book of Genesis, chapter 43 onwards. Chapter 43 from the book of Genesis. And the famine was sore in the land. And it came to pass, when they had eaten up the corn which they had brought out of Egypt, the father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. And Judah spoke unto him, saying, The man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. If thou wilt send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. And if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. And Israel said, Wherefore dealt he so ill with me as to tell the man whether ye had yet a brother? And he said, The man asked us straightly of our state, our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye yet another brother? And we told him according to the tenor of the words, Could we certainly know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Judah said unto Israel, his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go, that we may leave and not die, both we and thou, and also our little ones. I will be surety for him. Of my hand shalt thou require him. If I bring him not unto thee, and set him before thee, then let me bear the blame forever. For except we had lingered, surely now we had returned the second time. And the father Israel said unto them, Is it, If it must be so now, do this. Take of the best fruits in the land in your, of the land in your vessels, and carry down the man a present, a little bar, a little honey, spices, myrrh, nuts, almonds, and take double money in your hand, and the money that was wrought again in the mouth of your sacks, carry it again in your hand. Pre-adventure it was an oversight. Take call so your brother, arise, go again unto the man, and God Almighty give you mercy before the man, that he may send away your other brother and Benjamin. If I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. And the men took the present, and they took double money in their hand, and Benjamin, and rose up, and went down to Egypt, and stood before Joseph. And when Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the ruler of his house, Bring these men home and slay, and make ready, for these men shall dine with me at noon. And the man did as Joseph bade, and the man brought the men into Joseph's house. And the men were afraid, because they were brought into Joseph's house, and they said, Because of the money that was returned in our sacks, at the first time are we brought in, that he may seek occasion against us, and fall upon us, and take us for bondmen and our asses. And they came near to the steward of Joseph's house, and they communed with him at the door of the house, and said, O oh, sir, we came indeed down at the first time to buy food. It came to pass, when we came to the inn, that we opened our sacks, and behold, Every man's money was in the mouth of his sack, our money in full weight, and we have brought it again in our hand. And other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money in our sacks. And he said, Peace be to you, fear not your God. And the God of your father has given you treasure in your sacks. I had your money. And he brought Simeon out unto them. And the man brought the men unto Joseph's house, and gave them water, and they washed their feet, and he gave their asses provender, and they made ready to present against Joseph came at noon, for they heard they should eat bread there. And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house, and bowed themselves to him to the earth, and he asked them of their welfare, and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom he speak, is he yet alive? And they answered, The servant of father is in good health, he is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obeisance. And he lifted up and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother, of whom he spake unto me? And he said, God be gracious unto thee, my son. And Joseph made haste, for his bowels yearned upon his brother, and he sought where to reap, weep, and he entered into his chamber and wept there. And he washed his face and went out and risked refrained himself and said, Set on bread. And they set on for him by himself, for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians which did eat for him by themselves. Because the Egyptians might not eat with uh, bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled at one another. And he took and sent messes unto them, from before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times as many as of theirs, and they drank 
and were merry with him. Chapter 44 And he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sack with food as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth, and put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his corn money. And he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away, they and their asses. And when they were gone out of the city, and not yet far off, Joseph said unto his steward, Up, follow after the men. And when thou didst overtake, say unto them, Wherefore have we rewarded evil uh, for good? Is not this it in which my Lord drinketh, and whereby indeed did he divine it? Ye have done evil in so doing. And he overtook them, and he spake unto them the same words. And they said unto him, Wherefore saith my Lord these words, God forbid that thy servant should do according to this thing. Behold the money which we found in our sack's mouth, we brought again unto thee out of the land of Canaan. How then should we steal out of the Lord's house silver or gold? With whomsoever of thy servants it be found, both let them him die, and we also will be my Lord's born men. And he said, Now also let it be according to your words. He with whom it is found shall be my servant, and he shall be blameless. Then they took speedily every man his sack to the ground, and opened every man his sack. And he searched and began at the eldest, and left at the youngest, and the cup was found in Benjamin's sack. Then they rent their clothes, and laid every man his ass, and returned to the city. And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he was at there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What deed is this that you have done? What ye not that such a man as I can certainly divine? And Judah said, What shall we say unto thee? What shall we speak? How shall we clear ourselves? God has found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are the Lord's servants, both we, and he also with whom the cup is found. And he said, God forbid that I should do so. But the man in whose hand the cup is found, he shall be my servant. As for you, get you up in peace unto your father. And Judah came near unto him and said, O oh my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word to my Lord's ears, and let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as Pharaoh. My Lord asked his servant, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And we said unto my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loveth him. And thou saidst again unto thy servant, Bring him down to me, that I might set mine eyes upon him. And we said unto the Lord, The lad cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. Thou saidst unto thy servants, Except your younger brother comes down with you, ye shall see my face no more. And it came to pass, when we came up unto thy servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord, and our father said, Go again and buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down, if our youngest brother be with us. Then we will go down, for we may not see this man's face, except our youngest brother be with us. And the servant, my father, said unto us, Ye know that my wife bare me two sons. The one went out from me, and I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, I saw him not pick. And if you take this also from me, and mischief befall him, he shall bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the grave. Now therefore, when I come to thy servant, my father, and the lad be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the lad's life, it shall come to pass, when he seeth the lad is not with us, that he will die. And thy servant shall bring down the grey hairs of thy servant, our father, with sorrow to the grave. For thy servant became surety for the land unto my sa servant, saying, if I bring him not unto thee, then I shall bear the blame to my father forever. Now therefore I pray thee, let thy servant abide, instead of the land, a born man to my lord, and let the land go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to my father, and the lord, lad, be not with me per adventure? I see the evil that will come on my father. And Joseph could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him, and he cried, Cause every man to go out from me, and there stand no man with him, while Joseph made himself known unto his brethren. Chapter 45 
and he wept aloud and the egyptians and the house of pharaoh heard and joseph said unto his brethren i am joseph does my father at leave and his brethren could not answer him for they were troubled in his presence and joseph said unto his brethren come near to me i pray you and they came near and he said i am joseph your brother whom he sold into egypt now therefore be not grieved nor angry with yourselves that he sold me hither for god did send me before you to preserve life for these two years hath the famine been in the land and there are five years in which there shall be neither be earing on our harvest and god sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance so now it was not you that sent me hither but god and he had made me a father to pharaoh and the lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all land of egypt hasty go up to my father and say unto him thus says the son joseph god has made me lord of all egypt come down unto me tarry not and thou shalt dwell in the land of goshen thou shalt be near unto me thou and thy children the children's children and thy flocks and thy hand and all that thou hast hast and there will i nourish thee for it there are five years of famine lest thou and thy household and all that thou hast come to poverty and behold your eyes see and the eyes of my brother benjamin that it is my mouth that speaketh unto you and you shall tell my father all my glory in egypt and all that he have seen and shall haste and bring down my father hither and he fell upon his brother benjamin's neck and wept and benjamin wept upon his neck moreover he kissed all his brethren and wept over them and after that his brethren talked to him and the fame thereof was heard in pharaoh's house saying joseph's brethren are come and he pleased pharaoh well and his servants pharaoh said unto joseph say unto thy brethren this do ye lady of beasts go get unto the land of canaan and take your father and your households and come unto me and i will give you the good of the land of egypt and ye shall eat of the fat of the land now art thou commanded this do ye take your wagons out of the land of egypt for your little ones and wives and bring your father and come also regard not all your stuff for the good of all the land of egypt is yours and the children of israel did so and joseph gave them wagons according to the commandment of pharaoh and gave them provision for the way to all of them he gave each man changes of raiment but to benjamin he gave 300 pieces of silver and five changes of raiment and to his father he sent after this manner 10 asses laden with the good things of egypt and 10 she asses laden with corn and bread and meat for his father by the way so he sent his brethren away and they departed and he said unto them see that you fall not out of the way and they went up out of egypt and came into the land of canaan and to jacob the father and told him saying joseph is set alive and he is governor over all the land of egypt and jacob's heart fainted for he believed them not and they told him all the words of joseph which he had said unto them and when he saw the wagons that joseph had sent to carry him the spirit of the father jacob revived and israel said it is enough joseph my son is set alive i will go and see him before he died